Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Lydia and this is Time with Lydia the Pharmacist. If you're new to this channel, a warm welcome to you and to all our returning subscribers. Thank you once again for joining me today. Today I'm super excited to spend some time with you talking about a very interesting topic. Today I'm going to be talking about a drug. I'm going to be sharing with you some key facts about this drug that we commonly used and the name of the drug is ibuprofen. Most of us have taken ibuprofen in the past to relieve some kind of pain or inflammation or to reduce our body temperature. Ibuprofen is used for conditions such as back pain, period pain, toothache, sprains and strains and is also used for arthritic pain. Ibuprofen belongs to a group of drugs called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs for short. It is the most commonly used and most frequently prescribed NSAID. How does ibuprofen work in the body? There are some natural chemicals in the body called prostaglandins and they are responsible for the production of pain and inflammation. There are also two important enzymes called cyclooxygenase 1 or COX-1 and cyclooxygenase 2 or COX-2. These enzymes are involved in the synthesis of prostaglandins. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen produce their pain relieving and anti-inflammatory properties by inhibiting the actions of cyclooxygenases. So prostaglandins are not produced. So who can and who cannot take ibuprofen? Ibuprofen can be taken by most adults and children from the age of three months onwards. It can be given to children for fever, fever and toothache. If you have to give a child ibuprofen, then make sure that you follow the dose prescribed by your doctor or your pharmacist. It comes in various forms. You can get the tablet, the capsules, the liquid, and the granules. Ibuprofen also comes in the form of a gel, a mousse, or a spray. And these are the preparations that are used locally once you take ibuprofen you should feel the effect within 20 to 30 minutes that is if you take the tablets the capsules the granules or the liquid for some types of long-term pain you would need to take ibuprofen regularly for up to three weeks for it to work properly if you are applying ibuprofen to your skin it should start to work within one to two days so there are some conditions that when you have you may not be able to take ibuprofen and these include if you have ever had an allergic reaction or symptoms like wheezing runny nose or skin reactions after taking aspirin ibuprofen or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as naproxen if you are pregnant if you've ever had bleeding in your stomach or a hole or perforation in your stomach caused by a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. If you have had a hole or perforation in your stomach, bleeding in your stomach or a stomach ulcer more than once. If you have severe heart failure, severe kidney failure or severe liver failure. Also, if you're trying to get pregnant, if you have high blood pressure that is not under control, if you have heart diseases or mild to moderate heart failure, or you have ever had a stroke, if you have kidney or liver problems, also if you have asthma, hay fever or allergies, you may not be able to take ibuprofen. If you have Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis that is also a reason why you should be cautious with ibuprofen you also need to be cautious if you are over 65 years because ibuprofen can increase your likelihood 
of getting stomach ulcers. If you're taking it for a long time, then your doctor may prescribe a medication that would help protect your stomach. So our next question is, how and when can you take ibuprofen? The dose you take varies based on the condition that you are managing or treating. For adults, it can be up to 600 milligram three times a day. The usual dose is 400 milligram tablet or a 200 milligram tablet three times a day. In countries such as the UK, you can only buy the 200 milligram tablet over the counter from your local pharmacy. So you can take one or two of the 200 milligram tablet three times a day. Sometimes higher doses are prescribed by doctors and doses up to 800 milligram can be prescribed by your doctor. These doses are really high and they've got to be taken under the supervision of your doctor or your pharmacist. If you take ibuprofen three times a day, then leave at least six hours between the doses. If you take it four times a day, then leave at least four hours between doses. Make sure you always take ibuprofen tablets, the capsules, the granules, and the liquid with food or a drink or milk so as to protect your stomach and reduce the chance of a stomach upset. Do not take it on an empty stomach. This is very important. Do not take ibuprofen on an empty stomach. Now let's talk about ibuprofen and pregnancy. Ibuprofen is not usually recommended in pregnancy unless it is prescribed by a doctor, especially if you're more than 30 weeks pregnant. And this is because ibuprofen can affect your baby's circulation and kidneys. There may also be a link between taking ibuprofen in early pregnancy and miscarriage. Make sure you always talk to a doctor or a pharmacist before taking ibuprofen if you're pregnant. There may be other treatments that are more suitable for you. Paracetamol is the best painkiller to take during pregnancy. How about ibuprofen and breastfeeding? You can take ibuprofen or use it on your skin whilst breastfeeding. It is one of the painkillers that's usually recommended if you're breastfeeding. Only tiny amounts get into breast milk and it's unlikely to cause side effects in your baby. Many people have used it whilst breastfeeding without any problem. If you notice that your baby is not feeding as well as usual or if you have any concerns about your baby, talk to your midwife or talk to your doctor. Now, ibuprofen and fertility. Ibuprofen taken occasionally for pain relief, for example, when you have a headache, is unlikely to affect fertility. However, it is best not to take ibuprofen tablets, the capsules, the granules, or the liquid for a long time, that is more than a week, if you're trying to get pregnant. In this case, paracetamol is a better option. This is because taking ibuprofen in large doses or for a long time can affect ovulation. And this can make it more difficult for you to get pregnant. But you know, once you stop taking it, your system reverts back to normal again. In men, there is no clear evidence to suggest that taking ibuprofen can affect their fertility. Before I round up, I would like to answer some common questions that are asked in the community pharmacy by customers regarding ibuprofen. And the first one is, can I take ibuprofen with other painkillers? You know, it is safe to take ibuprofen with paracetamol or codeine but do not take ibuprofen with similar painkillers like aspirin or naproxen without talking to your pharmacist or your doctor. Ibuprofen, aspirin, and naproxen belong to the same group 
of medicines called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or insects. If you take them together, it may increase the chance of you getting side effects like stomach ache. Also, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can be found in medicines that you buy over the counter for colds and flu. So it is important that you always speak to your pharmacist before you buy these medicines. And also it is important that you read the label and the patient information leaflet that comes with any medicine at all that you buy from your local pharmacy. The second common question that we get is, can I use ibuprofen gel, the mousse, or the spray at the same time as ibuprofen tablets, ibuprofen capsules, the granules, or the liquid? The answer is, it will not do you any harm if you use the gel, the mousse, or the spray together with the tablet. But the thing is, if you're already taking ibuprofen tablets, the capsules, or the liquid by mouth, you will not get any extra benefits from also using the gel, the mousse, or the spray. These tend to work effectively for when you have the pain under the skin in a very small area of your body. So we have talked about ibuprofen and how it works in the body. We have looked at when and how you need to take ibuprofen. We have also answered some common questions that people normally have when they have to take ibuprofen. Also I have talked about some conditions that when you have, you need to be cautious with ibuprofen. I hope you have learned something new today. Please give this video a thumbs up, share with family and friends. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please don't hesitate to hit on that subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any video that I upload. Also, I would love to know your experience with ibuprofen. Do leave me a comment. Tell me if you've taken ibuprofen before. Thank you so much for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.